Hey guys, thank you very much for joining. Uh, so fresh off of an awesome, awesome two-day run at the Nutter Center in Dayton. I'm uh, gonna go over a quick, quick little fun one here. Uh, a little Buffalo Bill, definitely, definitely a classic. They don't, they don't write them like that anymore, uh, according to Trey. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go over this, this one. Uh, just a few chords to break down. Pretty simple rhythm. A lot of fun to play around with. Um, if you are new here, uh, please consider subscribing, uh, hitting the bell for notifications. And for for all of my all the all the fish all the fish fans out there, uh, I am trying to work on a little personal project here, collecting some uh, short essays, um, just putting together a collection of essays about you know our love for for this uh, amazing band, uh, super high level. The my my thought right now is that each chapter would just be a question, and and then just a bunch of answers, uh, you know, from fans like yourselves. So the first question for anyone that is interested in uh, in sending me something, be what is your fish origin story? Um, you can put it in the description. You, you can comment here. Uh, you can hit me on Facebook at Brennan Blackwell. Uh, you can also hit me on Instagram at uh, Fish Picks Guitar Lessons. I would love to hear your fish origin story. How did you get into fish? You know what was the what was the catalyst that uh, that brought you to this band? I know for me. I first listened to, uh, I was playing pool with a buddy in 97 in his house. He played the Eat a Peach album I had never heard of before. Completely opened up my mind to the jam band music scene. And so I went from Almond Brothers to Grateful Dead. Started seeing this band called Acoustic Hookah uh, here in Ohio. I've seen them countless, countless times from, from 98 to 2000. Probably close to 60, 70 shows of theirs. Um, and then eventually... Uh, Found my found my way to fish. Uh, my first CD was um, a bootleg copy of the Island Tour um, from '98. It was fantastic. I was instantly instantly hooked. And then my first shows were uh, December 3rd and 4th, 1999, at the uh, the First Star Center in Cincinnati, Ohio. So that is my brief origin story. I'd love to hear love to hear from you guys on some of yours if you're interested. But I've talked a lot, and this is not a this is not a talking channel. Um, this is about guitar lessons, so let's go ahead and hop in. All right, so uh, Buffalo Bill is relatively, relatively straightforward. It's a pretty simple, simple tune. Um, there's a, there's obviously nuances because that's that's just fish. Um, but for the most part, we're going back and forth. Um, this little progression here. So uh, you can play this a lot of different ways. I'm I'm playing this portion of it with seven chords. Um, so the main chord here really, uh, so starting out here, we're doing a D7. And then we're just changing the bass note um, for the second time, right? So that's it. Uh, so barring that fifth fret, uh, ring finger is on the seventh fret of the G, pinky finger is on the seventh fret of the B. 
and you're just going to start, you're going to hit that root note, so that fifth fret here um, on that A string, so that D. So you're going to hit that root note, and then you're going to hop over um, and hit the root note on the low E. So. so I think that makes it like a A6 or something, I don't know. So you do that, and we'll just move the shape up to a C7. Same rhythm, you do that part once, and comes back to that D7. Okay, um, so you, you do that uh, throughout the verses, uh, and the last time. Uh, the last line of the verse, uh, so you're, you're back here playing your C7, and instead of coming to the D, now you're going to go up uh, to get it to the chorus chords. So I'm going to go with the B flat here. Um, so that B flat, I'm just barring, barring that first fret there, um, first and third frets, and again hitting this root note here on the A string. And for the chorus, I think what I'm hearing um, is he's bouncing back and forth here. So, then we're going to an F. Um, then there's a little, little quick little lead line you can play here as well. Uh, so that, uh, starting here on that third fret of the G, going to the fifth fret, third fret of the B, fourth fret of the B, back to the third, we're back here on this G, 5th fret, back to the 3rd of the uh, B, 4th, and then we're going to finish up here on this G, 5, 3, 2, 3. We're going to play through that part solely without talking, that's kind of weird. And that, that really is, that, that, that's the song. Uh, it's a pretty pretty straightforward song. Um, and obviously you can have a lot of fun playing around with it and uh, really kind of extend it out. And I might just kind of mess around here for a little bit, but that is the, that's the gist of the lesson there. Um, so please leave me feedback, comments below. I really do appreciate it. I will see you guys again soon. If you want to stick around and listen to me meander for a little bit, hey, by all means. <laughs>